and welcome back super mums. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the contentious issue of mumflict. As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and help them enjoy their motherhood. Mumflict, the conflict that only a mother can understand. I'm gonna start with a caveat. When I'm saying mum, I am totally including stepmums, foster mums, adoptive mums. If you're a mum in any kind of situation, you're still gonna be experiencing some of this mum flicked. There is no magic strategy, unfortunately, to getting rid of mum flicked, but you can have a good mindset and strategy in place to make it easier to deal with. And I think the biggest part of this is really identifying that it's there and that we all feel it. No matter how much work you have done into your values and your priorities and aligning your life, and you can time block your life perfectly, you are still gonna feel torn. And that's just a fact of mum life, unfortunately. If you've watched any of my stuff before, you know that I'm a time management addict. I'm really into evaluating my life and getting the most out of all my days, which includes having lots of quality family time, time with just my daughter, time with my daughter and my partner as our little family of three, but also having me time and personal time and fitness time and food time. I, on the whole, balance my life really well. I put a lot of effort in to do that, don't get me wrong. It's not, it doesn't just magically happen. But I am still experiencing mumflict constantly. I still have some days where I question my strong belief that we all need some self-care in our lives and think, oh, but this like hour that I've had, like a bath and a face mask, that's my once a week treat. I have a bath and a face mask and some chill time and I put on some YouTube videos and just like, and even then I'm like, I should be doing something for my daughter. What should we do? I should be doing something for her. And actually at that point, she's asleep. She doesn't know what mommy's doing. Except occasionally she gets up early and I put her on the floor so I can like finish getting the soap off and things. Um, but why, why, why am I feeling like bad about it? feeling like this conflict that I'm like taking an hour out of my life for myself, even though I know that I spend lots of quality time with her and we have lots of fun adventures and she doesn't want f for nothing. Like th that's still there. Even when you like rock up for work, you feel like mum flicked that you're not giving it all at work because you didn't sleep very well last night because you stayed up with your little one because she was feeling a bit poorly. And you're like, well, I could have just let her go to bed or cowpulled her up and put her down again. No, I'm saying that like I don't cowpull my kid up, but yeah, when she's ill, she gets cowpulled, shoot me. We feel mum flicked that, that we're letting our work suffer and things like that. But in the end, we are doing this amazing job of raising a small human up. Like, perfect does not exist. We're not gonna be perfect in every area. When I talk about balance, that doesn't mean that the two things are equal because there are different areas of my life that require more time or more concentration or more focus or are more important to me. My balance isn't a double-sided thing. My balance is a circle and it's lots of different areas. And to actually, for me to keep it flat, the weight isn't even on all of them. Two things in equal isn't balance of life. Who only has two focuses in life? Hands up to you if you do. Please shout out in the comments below if you only have two focuses in life. I would love to meet you and find out how you've done it. Like, just bow down. How did you manage to only have two focuses in your life? Because I have te my 10 values and I do, I talk about the 10 values. I have a whole download on discovering your 10 values. Um, side note, I'll link that down below. It's still, I find it quite hard to narrow it down to 10 values. I am a multifaceted person, human being with lots of stuff going on. Like having two things to balance just isn't real. That's not a thing, I don't think. So of course, if you've got all these things to deal with, there's gonna be some mum flicked between them. Even if you weren't a mum, there would be a certain amount of conflict between your priorities in life. But as a mum, you're adding in the whole responsibility of raising up a human. That is a massive thing. And yes, I'm sure there's like a dad flicked thing, but we're about the mums here. So you have gotta be a bit easier on yourself. You need to understand it's, it's kind of like a fact of life. Trying to say I don't want any mum flicked in my life is like saying, I'm, well, I'm gonna stop breathing. I don't wanna breathe. Like. That's just wasting my energy. I don't want to breathe. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> you need to keep breathing in the same way that mum flicked is gonna show up. But when it does, you need to give yourself a break, cut yourself some slack and be a little bit more understanding with yourself. We are all 
dealing with it speak up about it be open about it if you've got no friend that really understands maybe you're the first mum in your friend like friendship group put it in our facebook group put it out and just say struggled with this today you'll get a load of nice comments from people which is great but i find that actually just putting it out there can be helpful even if no one responds just putting it out there and letting it go is great i look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be remember don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again